In this class, you'll link a series of values to a specific parameter and also display a name for each setting in this series of values. Thereby, you can attribute names to several possible variations of a model and make it easier to choose one of these options. For example, if you apply the linear parameter based on the lookup parameter, you can attribute several values to the linear parameter, making it easier for the user to choose the value at any given moment. Let's open the door DWG file and access the block editor and demonstrate how this works. Apply the linear parameter to this door without any grip display. Also apply the scale action. Now that both items have been defined, let's configure the lookup parameter. To create a link to possible values defined for a parameter and a name to facilitate the choice for the user. Let's start defining this by inserting the lookup parameter. Click a point on the screen to fix the location and define the grip display. The next step is to insert the lookup action. Enable the tool and select the previously inserted parameter. Now the Properties Lookup Table dialog box is open. You can see the Action Name files to specify the parameter for the registered input properties values. Here you define the names the user will view on the list of values in the Lookup Properties field when the control grip for this action is clicked. To register data for another parameter, click the Add Properties button located next to the Action Name field. You can see the selected parameter name displayed in the block on the new screen. In this case, you'll see the linear parameter which was previously defined. Click OK to confirm this selection. Notice how it's now possible to insert values for the input properties parameter and the respective name for this value is lookup properties. This data is input line by line, which means first you define the value and follow this by its name and then go to fill out the next line. Let's test the block to see how it works. Click Test Block. When this block is selected, you can see three grips, two linear parameters, and one lookup parameter. Click this grip, and you'll see a list of defined names for the table. See how when one of these values is selected, the block size decreases or increases. This is due to the link to the selected name with the attribute value in the linear parameter from the previously created table. As you can see, the lookup parameter is an interesting feature. You can link several states to any other parameter, facilitating design and project understanding. 
So in this class, you've learned how to create a list with names linked to a list of values attributed to a parameter. This makes it much easier to control different parameters in the same block. 